Hello everyone and welcome to full stack devlogs once again. If you have not seen the first video in the series of uh, updating to Node-RED 2.0, I would recommend you that before watching this particular video, please go to my channel full stack devlogs in which you are right now and watch this uh, updating to Node-RED version 2.0. And if you are here for the first time, please motivate me by hitting the subscribe button thanks for doing that already let's move into the topic so as we have seen that when we took the node 2.0 version we saw that we upgraded to the monaco javascript editor and we saw some of its benefits now the next thing that we are going to understand and use today is this the node red flow debugger so this is a module uh, which is available only for the node red 2.0 and higher versions and that's why we need to upgrade to node red 2.0 first and then this video is relevant for you let's start what are we going to do here for example we have a node red flow and we don't still have the mechanism to add breakpoints in a running flow pause it somewhere and see what are the messages uh, in the queue or at particular some node state what is the output I am getting from the other node so instead of giving too many debug nodes everywhere you can just do it in a pro manner by using the debugger option so now we will start right away with this module which is specially written for this purpose thanks to the contributors we will just use npm install node red debugger so now we have to remember one thing that we should ensure that we we are in the user directory of our running node red so which is this the dot slash dot node red folder if you have installed node red globally in your machine it will be somewhere in this location like this on your machine so now let's try to install it using the npm install and the module is known as node red debugger so we see that it has added one package let's try to confirm it here and you will see that in your node red distribution the node red debugger version 111 has been added in your package json right which means we have done it successfully now let's start our node red runtime the server and here we are so now in the drop down here or even you will find it in the view directory here in the flow debugger or directly from this drop down on the right if you are seeing this right now so here we go the flow debugger just click on it and that's it we have the debugger with us congratulations so now since we have the debugger installed and ready with us let's try to see how to enable it and start using it so you see on the right hand side this debugger panel and we see that it's disabled just click on this and it's enabled now we will get the breakpoints here and the messages here the way to use the breakpoints just on the entry point of any node just click the, you see that this blue square is getting created let me zoom it for you so I, when I just click here this is blue and a message breakpoint message is added let's see interaction here so yeah the message is added here we can also remove the breakpoint from here in the same way we can do it for each and every uh, node input point and now let's try to see it in action so as you have seen so if you have not seen the google cloud vision example i would also request you that it will be good if you will try to see this so this is the google cloud vision api image analysis where we pass on an image it goes to google cloud vision api uh, we are running it on the google cloud platform and finally uh, we are getting outputs from the Google AI which is giving us uh, like object detections used in that image so like for example I will go quickly so to understand in deep uh, please see this video I will not cover those details here I will just use it for triggering my flow in order to understand how the debugging is working so I will just give it this uh, JPEG I was having so just see as a message is here and as we see that 
that when you click on this message it shows the breakpoint number one is uh, like uh, we are we are waiting here so we are seeing that this is the payload so this is the payload that we have the image which is in the buffer form so this is the image now I will just uh, let it go ahead resume the flow and now I see that it stops here right and here we see that this is the payload we are sending in the form of this image uh, content and the features uh, feature is the label detection uh, please see the video which I'm talking about and you will understand what these things are in a better way uh, let's go ahead now we see that we are in the final and the last uh, breakpoint and here we see that there is a payload so this is the image that we are passing these are the features and ultimately we will get the result so basically we can stop at anywhere or we can even manually pause uh, any flow so for example I play it and I pause it so it is in the requesting mode there is no payload with me right now but still this is paused and the request is still not completed let me resume it again and once the request completes this is the response that we are having that what all it detects in the image here style arm photograph so this is the gist of it we have seen that how we can install the module for flow debugger we have seen that how we can use it enable disable it and how to play with it hope you like this video please catch me on the next one to do that please subscribe to this channel which is the full stack devlogs see you in the next video